I want to talk about SpaceX. You know me. I love space. I love space. I'm going to go to space one day. I had the Gateway Foundation guys on my show a couple times. Awesome guys. Really trying to get space trending and trendy. You know, trying to get a connection to a younger generation because when the community, the community as a whole wants something to ha happen, if everyone thinks of it in a positive manner, it tends to shift political opinion and companies, you know, to do that kind of stuff. So if space is cool, which I would love to help make in space cool, you know, I want to go to space. And SpaceX, check us out, announcing the first commercial astronaut mission to orbit Earth aboard Dragon. <laughs> ah, that just get. I'm just so hyped on that. This mission enables access for everyday people who dream of going to space. He's talking about me. Now I say he because I think SpaceX. I think Elon Musk. But, you know, SpaceX is just a company. But they're talking about me. They're talking about me. Check us out. This is uh, this is from SpaceX on their web uh, website just talking about it. Look at that. He's inside the Dragon capsule. That is straight up the the controls. Touchscreen. I don't know if you knew this, but it's all touchscreen now. Which they were planning on doing that before. They wanted it. Because, I mean, I don't even know how many miles of cable that the Voyager spacecraft has in it. It's it's a ridiculous amount of cable. And that's half of the weight because cable is it, metal. So it has, you know, all these old style spacecrafts had all these wires running everything to do all this stuff. But now it's all computer and a flat screen. Anyway, I'm geeking out a little bit on space. Let's let's keep it on the uh, uh, the launch inspiration for mission to orbit in 2020. SpaceX returned America's ability to fly NASA astronauts to and from the International Space Station for the first time since the space shuttle's last flight in 2011. In addition to flying astronauts for NASA, Dragon was also designed to carry commercial astronauts to Earth orbit, the space station, or beyond. Now, I just want to add, I saw that, I, I saw that launch, and I, I teared up a little bit because it was awesome watching us return to space from American soil, it just, ah, man, my, my inner child came out because as a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to do that. I wanted to go on spacewalks and, and fix, you know, whatever needed fixing on the outside of the International Space Station or, or walk on the moon. That was like, that was my dream. And I was going to join the Air Force and I couldn't because I was colorblind. Or, well, I still am. And that's, that's part of the reason why this flag right here means a lot to me, because the Air Force flew it for us here at the TimCast News Network. Well, when I was a part of the TimCast News Network. And uh, anyway, I keep getting sidetracked because space. <laughs> okay, back to the story, though. Today, it was announced SpaceX is targeting no earlier than the fourth quarter of this year for Falcon 9's launch of Inspiration 4 the world's first all-commercial astronaut mission to orbit. From historic launch complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, Jared Isaacman, founder and CEO of Shift4 Payments, is donating the, uh, the three seats alongside him aboard Dragon to individuals from the general public who will be announced in the weeks ahead. Learn more on how to potentially join the historic historic journey to space by visiting inspiration for oh i'm definitely definitely gonna get in on that now i don't know if i'm gonna be lucky enough to get one of those seats but that would be insane the inspiration for crew will receive commercial astronaut training by spacex on the falcon 9 launch vehicle and dragon spacecraft orbital mechanics and operating in microgravity zero gravity and other forms of stress testing they will go through emergency preparedness training, spacesuit and spacecraft ingress and egress exercises, as well as partial and full mission simulations. This multi-day journey orbiting Earth every 90 minutes along a customized flight path 
will be carefully monitored at every step by SpaceX Mission Control. Upon conclusion of the mission, Dragon will re-enter Earth's atmosphere for a soft water landing off the coast of Florida. Now, I guess to join in, you have to give to a charity of, I, I, I think there's a list maybe of uh, things you have to do, but anyone can join. So if you want to try to join, let's go there right now together, shall we? This is the inspiration for website. Join the first all civilian. Is it not? Why is it not loading? Come on. Come on. No. Why are you not loading? Okay. I don't know why that's not loading. Well, I'll just read it for you. There's a countdown for the crew selection in 26 days. And uh, I'm going to secure my seat. Yep. It's exactly as I thought. You can um, donate to St. Jude or... I think there's a couple other I wish it would show let me try it again is it st here we go awesome no it's not uh, not trying to show it for you guys well it shows you a little bit right there you can donate to St. Jude and help the fundraiser um, yeah okay well oh it is loading now okay great yeah donate to St. Jude here we go help us meet our fundraising goal to support the life-saving mission of St. Jude and you can secure the seat representing generosity Shift for shop. Start a shift for shop and post your inspirational business story on Twitter for the opportunity to secure the seat. I think I'm going to do both because why not? Any chance I get to slam my my butt into that into that dragon council, I want to make it happen. That would be fantastic because I would love love to fly into space. You know what? No, it's not that I, I'm. I yes, it's true. I will love it, but I'm. It's going to happen. I will. I will go. I'm going to be in space one day. I'm going to float and, and free float in zero gravity. One day, that's going to happen. I'm just, that's that's how you make things happen. You can just put that energy out there. SpaceX, thank you. All right, thank you for even the, the thought of me getting a chance to visit space this year. The slim chance of it being a possibility is exciting. And I hope... All of you who want that chance, go to inspiration4.com and try to win a chance to. Because I would be equally excited if someone who's listening to me right now won a seat on the Dragon capsule in the fourth quarter of this year and flew out to space. I would be like, I, you know, I made that happen. I'm, I'm excited and I hope you're excited too. Because we are witnessing a new... <sighs> civilization being born we are right on the precipice of just going into space we're we're in the next 25 years now that sounds like a lot right 25 years but i mean i've been on this planet for 36 years now i look back at my life and i'm you know when i was younger it felt like life was if you know you don't have much to compare it to so 10 years old you only have 10 years to know what life is about so 36 years i'm like man looking back it feels like time has flown by in 25 years i'm gonna look back to this moment and be like wow i remember when i was starting my my podcast as i'm reporting from my you know tier one ship that can fly into space and and it's also my apartment you know that i can go check out uh, the moon base I don't know. Who knows? You know, let the imagination run wild. But 25 years, I have a feeling that we're going to be in a completely different situation. You know, we're, we'll be on Mars. Oh, yeah, we'll be on Mars. We'll be on the moon. Human beings will be walking on Mars. We're going to be walking on the moon. It's going to be a thing. And uh, yeah, someone just said you're in space now. Yeah, true. But it's all about perspective, you know. For us, this is home. We can exist in space. So going outside of Earth's atmosphere in itself, that's what being in space is. Come on. Semantics. You guys are hilarious with the semantic game today. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You probably are normally. I just don't catch it as much as I, I would like to. Because I, I love that semantic game. You guys are hilarious with it.